How you doing, everybody? Bill Inelli, owner broker of Inelli and Associates. Welcome to the Real Estate Matters webcast. Thanks for all the uh, feedback on the first one we had, and we will continue to kind of tweak this and improve it. It'll get better as time goes on. And appreciate you listening. Appreciate you viewing these. We will have these up on the website, realestatematters.org, for you to view all of the archive video cast at your leisure. Tell your friends and family about it, and we'll put them on an email list as well. Now, I just want to get quick and right to the point on these things. I don't want to keep you waiting here. Here's what's going on with the short sale situation. I get a ton of questions about this. Arizona has an anti-deficiency statute. If you own a property and it's on less than two and a half acres and it's a single family residence or a duplex and you let that property go and it was purchase money, then there is nothing that the bank will do. They can't come after you for an anti-deficiency balance. Arizona is one of the few states like that. Now, if it's not purchase money, if you took out a, a second loan or a home equity line and uh, bought some things, then you could have a problem. But if it was purchase money and you bought your house for 200000 and it went down to a hundred and you let it go, then there is no recourse for the lender. doesn't mean they might not try to come after you, but uh, legally they cannot. Every situation is a little different. So... Make sure and contact me. I'll put you in touch with Kevin Harper. Every situation is, like I said, is totally different. Kevin Harper is an attorney we work with on a daily basis with these short sales. So make sure and give, get a hold of me. If there's a second deed of trust involved and it was not purchase money, you could have some problems okay, on a short sale or a foreclosure. Same goes with the taxation issue. If you didn't realize a gain on your property and you sold it, uh, you bought it for uh, 100 and um, sold it for 50 and it was purchase money and you didn't take out any money and there was no gain involved, you should be okay on the tax situation even though they forgave 50000 of your debt. You still may get a special 1099 form, but you need to consult with your accountant or my accountant, John Jones, and we will put you in touch with him also to make sure that you're okay on that. There could be taxation problems again on a second deed of trust. This is where all the problems lie when you do a first and a second and you take out some money or you do a refinance besides the purchase money you could have some problems so call me before acting and we will go over everything okay here's my latest thing that's just driving me nuts with the registrar contractors I want everyone to know what happened to me so you it doesn't happen to you I had a guy put a fence around my duplex and he was a member of the registrar of contractors a fencing contractor he ripped me off he didn't finish it I took him to court. I had to take him to court and get a judgment. He didn't show up. Took him about took me about a year to find him and to serve him. I got a default judgment on him, which I needed to do, so I could take that judgment to the Arizona Registrar of Contractors and file a claim against their recovery fund for the three thousand dollars. They have a recovery fund for people that don't pay these contractors. So I did all that and did went through the process and did all the paperwork. And I uh, got a letter the other day saying they denied my claim because the property was an investment property. So, if you own a house and you moved out and rented it, and you had a licensed contractor come in and do some work, and he rips you off and he doesn't pay you, and you go after the recovery fund, you can't get any money. Imagine that. Nobody knows that. I've been doing this 22 years. Nobody knows it. They're all shocked, all my friends in the business. So beware. Oh, hire a licensed contractor. Everything's going to be fine. You can't go ahead and collect against them? Sure, hit the recovery front. Oh, too bad. You're an investor. you got a duplex or a rental property. Can't do it. No can do. Guess who set that up? The legislature, the Arizona legislature, and all their glory set a law up like that. So I'm going to send my little video cast out to all my legislatures and find out what the heck's going on. So there's the latest travesty here on a daily basis. I'm going to give you all these. They've happened to me. I've got tons of them, so I'll go over them every week so it doesn't happen to you. So buyer beware. Make sure and know what's going on with these registrar contractors. Hey, get a hold of me anytime. Buying or selling real estate. Questions, comments. I'm there for you. Never too busy for you. Appreciate all the referrals. And uh, give me a call. I'm always there for you. 602-463-9166. Bill Inelli, Inelli & Associates, Real Estate Matters webcast. We'll talk to you soon. See you later.